Sixth generation fighter jet programs are some of the most interesting and secretive weapon development projects in the aviation industry. They predominantly belong to two categories, those that have been widely publicized and those that we know very little about. While the Chinese and Russian programs fall into the second category, those under development in Japan and Europe belong to the first. But the United States Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD project is somewhere in between. Its timeline and budget are constantly discussed, and the U.S. Air Force USAF, even reported that it had flown a prototype of the jet. However, in contrast to the Tempest, the FCAS or the FX, the U.S. has revealed surprisingly little in terms of characteristics or even the appearance of the aircraft. That is, unless we count concept art and 3D renders of the NGAB. While there is certainly an abundance of concepts out there, they are all different. A system of systems. There are several reasons for these differences. Firstly, there are two programs referred to as NGAB, one which is overseen by the USAF and another by the US Navy, USN. Both envision the fighter jet of the future not as a singular aircraft, but as a system of systems, a collection of different aircraft performing different tasks as a team. While a manned fighter jet remains at the center of this arrangement, much of the actual offensive capability depends on a swarm of drones of all shapes and sizes controlled by the jet. Additionally, a number of companies are currently working on these programs. The Pentagon dropped its regular acquisition process in favor of hiring companies to carry out separate tasks, such as designing specific components or subsystems. And while recent reports indicate that this novel approach has at least been partially abandoned for the USAF's NGAD program, the procurement process for the service's sixth-generation fighter still differs from the ways fifth- and fourth-generation jets were selected. The result? An onslaught of concept art, with many of the participating companies presenting their own visions of the NGAD, focusing on the parts of the system they are responsible for designing and often ignoring everything else. Northrop Grumman's Laser Toting Flying Wing The first concept images of a sixth-generation fighter jet, attributed to Northrop Grumman, predate the NGAP program entirely. They can be traced back to at least 2009 and show a tailless twin-engine airplane armed with a direct energy weapon. While the images might have some relation to research programs carried out at the time, there is simply not enough context to judge whether the company was significantly invested in sixth-generation jets back then. However, those early images show some similarity to the visualization revealed by the company in 2015, just a year after the NGAD program was initiated. The image portrayed a tailless blended wing-body aircraft firing a laser at incoming missiles. The theme of direct energy weapons was retained from the picture published in 2009, and the overall shape was somewhat similar. However, this new representation was an actual piece of concept art, rather than a placeholder intended to portray a laser weapon. The jet was tailless, with air intakes behind the cockpit, an unusual configuration at best. This looks a lot like a baby B-2, and this is really getting into our sweet spot, Chris Hernandez. Northrop Vice President for Research, said at the time. However, the picture appears to be quite stylized and provides little detail. A year later, the company released a follow-up to its previous concept, a TV commercial titled Just Wait, which elaborated on the design. It showed three jets flying in a formation, and they looked a lot like photorealistic renderings of the earlier picture, with two after-burning engines, a single pilot cockpit, and delta wings. In 2021, the design was revisited, this time in another Northrop Grumman promotional video. It featured a hangar full of computer-generated models of prospective aircraft, which the company appeared to be working on, and in the foreground, a familiar shape was clearly visible.